Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a Serum Sound Design Tip and Trick Tutorial video on ADSR. So this video is going to be short and sweet, but I think the content should help you out and your mixes more specifically. So we're going to be looking at odd unison voicings versus even unison voicings. What I mean by that, five voices of unison versus say eight, odd number, even number. Because there is a difference with the sound and there's a difference with how you can use detune blend and even how they kind of fit in the mix. Now, I know I said this is a serum tutorial, but a lot of the content or ideas in this video are actually gonna be applicable to other synths. That is because there's only so many ways to spread out your unison voices pleasingly to the human ear. So let's just dive right in. Let's go into Ableton now. We have serum pulled up with the default one voice. So if I go to two voices, and it's cool that to do this tutorial in Serum because you can see the actual unison voices. So two, you can see that there's one left and one right. So this makes having the detune at the default position sound like crap. Right, you have to turn that detune down. Let's take that back to the default position and we'll give this three voices of unison. Right, it sounds better. That is because when you have an odd number of voices, there's one in the middle. You see that yellow line there? That means that there's actually something in the center. So if you turn your blend down, you can keep the detune at the same amount. You're gonna hear more of that center voice. Right, so let's turn the detune down to point 16. Let's take the blend, command click, and we'll have it be its default position. So this would be a good amount of detune for like a chord patch, um, you know, a lead, a lot of different things, right? Let's take this up to four voices now. You can hear more of the detune, right? So let's go to five, six. So this is, the higher the number you get, there's the more you're gonna have in the center, right? If we look at two, there's a whole gap in the center. Four, there's gaps, and this is depending on how you, you know, have your detune set. But if you just have your detune set at around the default amount, and you crank this up to say 15, you have a voice in the center, right? And you have all these voices really close to it. You can see those on screen. So this sounds less detuned than say, you know, four voices. So what, what what does this mean in terms of sound design and production? Well, if you're making like a Reese bass or you're doing a detune saw bass, I would go with a odd number over a even number because you're gonna have that voice in the center. You're gonna have some mono compatibility, right? Now, if you're going for an uber wide type of like lead and you're gonna pan that thing out left to right a little bit, you could, you could get away with having, you know, an even count and spreading your voices, like maybe two, maybe four, et cetera, and then have your blend down. But for a lot of sounds that you're going to have front and present in the mix, try using an odd number versus an even number. You'll be surprised how they fit into the mix. And if you're doing hard, you know, dubstep trap basses and you're using a little bit of unison, use an odd number versus an even number because you will have the middle represented. So it should, should fit a little bit better in your mix. All right, guys, that sums up this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.